The first step is to swing the boom arm out, then unstrap the conveyor from the boom arm. Next, remove the telescoping spout and balance the spout end of the conveyor onto the ground. Now, remove the conveyor's discharge pans. Use a 7 16 inch wrench or socket to remove the nuts and bolts. Be sure to keep all of the hardware that is removed during the belt replacement process. Place a ladder or stand underneath the hopper end of the conveyor. This will keep the conveyor from moving up and down. Remove both skirts from the discharge end of the conveyor. Use a 9 16 wrench or socket to remove the bolts. Now run the conveyor motor until the splice on the conveyor belt is at the discharge end of the conveyor. Using an eighth inch Allen wrench, loosen the set screws on the bearing opposite of the conveyor motor. Next, remove the bolts holding down the bearing mount bracket on the motor side. Use a 9 16 socket or wrench to remove them. Now, using a 15 16 inch wrench or socket, loosen both the tensioning bolts on the discharge end of the conveyor. Remove the four bolts holding down the bearing mount plate on the opposite motor side of the discharge end of the conveyor. Use a 9 16 inch wrench or socket to do this. Then remove the bearing mount plate and the bearing from the end of the conveyor. Using a pliers, remove the conveyor splice cable. Now lay the new conveyor belt out. Drag one end away from the conveyor stopping once the other end is available to attach to the old conveyor belt. For the next step, a vehicle is needed. It does not have to be a truck or forklift. Something as small as a golf cart, four-wheeler, or side-by-side -side will do. Using the old conveyor splice cable, tie the new and old conveyors together. Next, attach a C-clamp vice grips to the end of the old conveyor. Then hook a chain from the vehicle to the vice grips. Now, pull the old conveyor belt out by pulling the new conveyor in. 
Assistance will be needed to allow the cleats from the new belt not to catch the bottom of the conveyor on the way in. Unhook the old conveyor from the new conveyor by removing the conveyor splice cable with a pliers. Tie both ends of the new conveyor together using the new splice cable. Install the retaining clips on both ends of the splice cable using a pliers to clamp the retaining clips to the new splice cable. Slide the bearing mount plate onto the motor drive shaft. Then tighten the tensioning bolt far enough so that you can install the bolts for the bearing mount plate. Install the four bolts for each bearing mount plate. A crowbar is suggested to install the bolt located towards the inside bottom corner. Use a 9 16 wrench to fasten the bolts. Add tension to the belt by tightening both tension bolts. On the bearing mount plate, there are wear marks where it was last tightened. Adjust the bearing mount plate until these holes are approximately lined up with the old wear marks. Now run the belt for 10 seconds and check the alignment. The belt should be aligned with the idler shaft. The spacing from the belt to the end of the shaft should be the same on each side. Adjust the belt by adjusting the tensioning bolts. Once adjusted, Tighten all the bolts on the bearing mount and both nuts on the tensioning bolt using a 9 16 and 15 16 wrench or socket to complete this task. Open the clean out door on the bottom side of the conveyor and run the belt and check the alignment on that side of the conveyor. Loosen the four bolts holding down the bearing mount plate. 
Then adjust the belt by tightening the tensioning bolt. A quarter of a turn will make a big difference on this end. Once this is done, tighten the nuts on the tensioning bolt and bearing mount plate. Now begin to reassemble the conveyor. Start by installing both skirts at the discharge end of the conveyor. The inner rubber for the skirts needs to be flush with the top of the conveyor. Tighten the bolts for both of the skirts. Next, replace both discharge pans. Use a screwdriver to help align the holes. A 7 16 wrench or socket can be used to tighten the hardware. Using an eighth inch Allen wrench, tighten both of the set screws for the discharge end bearing.
This completes the replacing the seed tender conveyor belt tutorial. If there are any problems or questions, please contact us at 419-375-2376.